So what's up, people? Earlier today at E3, EA did show some Anthem gameplay, and they did share a bunch of new Anthem information. Now, looking at the Anthem information and Anthem gameplay, I have to say I'm not 100% impressed. But that's because I don't think we saw what the main focus of the game is all about. I think that the game is going to be more story-centric than we think with multiplayer as a plus, rather than what Destiny was which was multiplayer, which was just an added on BS story. So let's look at what we saw in the, uh, or let's talk about what we saw in the actual press conference and interview and things like that. So what we know is there are four different types of javelins in exoskeleton. Well, actually, let's talk about that later. Let's first talk about the story elements and things like that. So. One thing for sure, something small, but that interested me, was that they said that they wanted to have a a live uh a live environment. So what they meant by that was kind of like how in Destiny, how you remember if there was a event in one place on another server in that same place, there'll probably still be an event. So it's that same thing in Anthem, except way more advanced where and it'll actually be if there is a storm in an area it'll actually be a storm in that area no matter where you are we all we all see the same exact storm no matter what the environments and the seasons seasons are the exact same every time or for everyone in a certain area so that's one thing another thing is something that they said it's it's our world but it's my story so what they meant by that is we all see the same live environments as our world, but we all, I guess from what they made it seem like is we all have different choices to make in our story that will make our story different. So one thing that they said is that there's, I don't want to say that there's no shared world, but when we go back, when we go out and do our mission, we can do that with our teammates. But when we go back home to our home base, we'll go to that home base by ourselves. So that's different from Destiny to where we could all go to the same tower or the farm, or wherever, the reef, wherever. I'm not sure if we, if there will be no shared world, but from what they said, that it made it seem like there's no shared world. Also, uh, the choices thing makes it interesting because if you're a fan of Bioware games like Mass Effect, like Dragon Age Inquisition, you know that there are certain dialogue options that you can choose that makes the story completely different. So that feature in a shared world type game like Anthem would be super interesting. I'm super, I'm intrigued on how they'll do it. What it makes me think is this game isn't comparable at all to Destiny and it's more like Monster Hunter where we choose some missions that we want to do and we can just bring other people along with us to do those missions so the multiplayer will be most likely super bare bones also there won't be any loot boxes but there will be cosmetics that we can get and i'm guessing those cosmetics will be like they there's no pay for power but i'm guessing cosmetics will be like different colors or like different decals or things like that from what we've seen, the javelin is customizable in Anthem, but I have yet to see the person who, what we look like outside of the javelin. So I'm guessing the actual person is not customizable. And what I was saying before is there are four types of javelin. There's the interceptor, which looks, we don't know much about the interceptor or the storm. The interceptor looks like a smaller, sleeker javelin type. The storm looks like a, it, it looks, it reminds me of a warlock from Destiny, if I were to compare it to anything. It has, like, an energy field around it while it's flying around. It looks really magic-y, I guess. And then the other two are the Ranger, which is a very generic type of kinetic weaponry-based javelin that relies on, I guess, bullets and missiles. And you have the Colossus, which can... It's pretty much the tank. It carries all of the big guns. So you call on the Colossus when you need a bunch of AoE area of effect damage. You need to just destroy a bunch of things at once. But if I were to guess what the, what the Storm and the Javelin or the Interceptor do, 
I'm guessing the storm provides it can provide some damage, but I'm guessing the storm provides a lot of crowd control and CC, and the interceptor will probably provide a lot of single target burst. So you'll probably want an interceptor if you want to. If you're doing a boss fight or something like that, or if you're hunting for one specific thing. I'm not sure though, there's not much information on the Interceptor of the Storm out right now. But, for the most part, that's all of the information that we know out right now. We also have a release date of February 22nd, 2019. So it will be out early next year. That's seven months from now? It's June? That's eight months from now about. So, it will be out at the end of February. That's all we know right now. I'm not super impressed by the gameplay. I do I do want to play the game. I do think I'll like the game, but I'm not super impressed from what I've seen. Um, one thing that I was always saying is Bioware is not known for making games with great shooting or great action like that, but all of their games have a great story. That's what Bioware is known for. So I was kind of worried about the fact that they're making a multiplayer game that seemed to be more gameplay based than story based but after today's interview it seems like it's going to be more story based than we think and they did say one another thing they said that another thing that they said excuse me is that they made it so that they can add more story whenever they want it so that kind of scares me because destiny is the same way and when people say that it makes me think that they left the story with a lot of loose ends and not many answers and and it's going to be very wide open which isn't satisfying in my opinion but i don't know i've never seen a bad bioware story so that's my opinions on the game right now it's all the information i have i love to hear your opinions on the game in the comment section please like the video it's kingdom 7 signing off peace